Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on how I apply my egg white facial. Here's a picture on the materials that you're going to need. The first thing is a flat brush, one egg, a pair of scissors, and toilet paper. So with the egg, we're just going to be using the egg white. So if you want to see how I achieve my egg white facial, then please keep on watching. my egg white in here and I'm going to tilt it just a little bit before it just drops out but I have like a cute little bowl here but you could use any bullet you have just whisk it with a fork before you apply it with um this is a cheap foundation brush that I had laying around um I just dipped it in the bowl but it's this one is the elf it's actually I thought it was a foundation brush but it's the elf blush brush this was three dollars at Target and um, you definitely just want something that you can kind of like flatten out. That's why I thought this was a, um, a foundation brush because what you want to just kind of like paint it onto your face. I'm going to show you right now. So again, this is just one egg and you kind of swirl it around here with your brush. Make sure that your face is clean. I usually like to do this after I shower and wash my face so my face doesn't have anything, not even um, moisturizer or anything like that. I just put some under eye moisturizer for my face, because, for my eyes, because you're definitely not gonna touch this area. And I just have um, a tinted lip balm, that's it. But I don't have anything else on my face. This is my bare face here. And um, we're gonna start brushing it. Another thing you're going to need, as per the picture, is toilet paper. So I grabbed four, four sections here, which I'm going to separate. So if you look at your toilet paper, it's thin enough, but you could separate it uh, into two. So you should have about eight sheets. You're really not going to need all of this, but just have it handy. I'm going to rip out one that just come right apart. So I'm going to kind of measure my face. So I'm looking into a mirror over here. So I think this will cover one part. I don't want to go too under my eye. This area is super, super thin and you don't want to pull at it. So um, just put your hair to the side or whatever. That way the egg yolk won't go on your hair and then pull it. But you're gonna go here. So I'm just gonna measure. So this would be good for one side. So I'm just gonna do the same for the other. It does not have to be neat at all. And as you can see, it's really cost effective because we're only using one egg yolk, toilet paper, which we all should have in the house. And I'm just gonna measure this cheek right here. So this is good. So that's two sides already. Then I'm gonna just rip the other two pieces. Then here I'm gonna start cutting it in half. You could just break it off with your hands, but I just, just for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna be a little bit more neat. So I'm gonna just grab this area right here. It's fine that it hangs out, and I'm gonna show you why you want a little bit of paper hanging um, past your face, okay? So this is good for here. And then, let me see, do I want to put this one here? No, because I want to, oh, perfect. So I'm going to put this one over my nose. This is definitely, so the egg white, I'm going to get more into it after I finish measuring, but the egg white, it serves as, you know, like the pore strips, it is just the same thing, but even better, because egg white has a bunch of nutrients for your skin which I'll list down below. So this is gonna be good. Be careful with your eyebrows. It's not going to pit, it's not gonna pull, it shouldn't pull on your eyebrows or anything, but this should be enough for here. Now I'm missing this piece and I definitely wanna get this piece, so I'm gonna cut a little piece and make it a little bit thinner so that way it doesn't pull on my, eye, on my eyebrows because I definitely don't want to mess around with that. So, Yep, that should be good right here. So that piece is for that. So this is perfect for this side here. 
And then obviously the same for right here. All right, so look, I didn't even need all of this. I'm gonna probably save this to do it on my son and my husband. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Ooh, it feels so good and cool. I'm just brushing it, not being neat or anything. When you're brushing here, just be careful because obviously you don't want to get it on your hair. If you do, don't worry. Don't just, just don't put the paper and I'll show you. Just don't put the paper on that area and it won't pull it. We're going to clean it up, any access off later on anyway. So... So what I'm doing is I'm just basically brushing all the areas that I want to put the paper on. Try to keep it away from your mouth. It's gonna stick. Just try to, you know, if it goes too close under your eyes, just turn the paper over. If I start talking weird, sorry. The egg white gets hard fast. So the only thing is that you really need to work fast here because the egg white's gonna start drying. Doesn't matter if it starts drying too much on you. If it dries right away and the paper's not even sticking, that means you put enough um, egg white. You know this chin area, I look scary right now, but the chin area, I always get a bunch. So if you guys can see, I'm just creating a mask. And I look really scary right now, but I just wanted to show you this is exactly how I do it. Just want to get, I'm missing a piece here. Then we're going to start putting the brush Really be excessive. It almost turns translucent, and that's because the paper is so thin. It could even rip on you a little, don't worry. Like I said, this doesn't have to be so neat. Keep it away from your eyes. relax for a little while and I will be back in 30 minutes. Set your timer on your Hey guys, I look 30 minutes and my face is super hard right now. So, this is why it's so good to have the pieces on the edges so that way you can pull it out. I'm doing it gently. I don't want to pull my face or my skin, but this is super good. Okay. Then I'm just going to pull down. I'm just going to rip this off here. See if I could show you. Let me see, can you guys see this? Let's see it. Let me see. I don't know if you can um, see towel it. and just kind of wipe off the access. You could always rinse your face too, but I'm just gonna do that.
with maybe going to um, clean up a little bit better um, and then I'm going to put on moisturizer and then that's it I'm not gonna put on any makeup today because I just want to give my face a little rest but like I said this is my bare face nothing on it and it feels super clean and soft and tight so some of the benefits I'm gonna list them down below but some of the key points are number one it takes out all of your blackheads and your whiteheads clears up your pores and tightens your pores and tightens your face and all of that um, if you have acne and things like that it's supposed to really help and cost effective I'm sure you have this in your home so you don't have to run out and buy anything the only thing that I would maybe say if you don't have which would be helpful it's not 100% necessary I've seen people just use their fingers to wipe it I just like using um, the brush because it's just easier to apply and I feel like it really soaks in in my face but don't by all means like you don't have to rush out and buy this brush if you wanted to I mean I know for sure that elf the white the white stick those are usually a dollar so if you wanted to invest in that so that way you could have it for a weekly use then you can go ahead and do so but if you wanted to try it uh, with along me with this video then just use your bare hands make sure they're clean they missed anything here but I think this was really self-explanatory and it was just really simple to do so until next time have a beautiful day bye